Okay, I'm doing my part two video. I've been sitting here like five, ten minutes trying to wait for the sun to come out and stay out. <laughs> As the beautiful fall calls the golden yellow, the orangey orange. Okay. I don't know if that orangey orange is the best, it's the right, it's the right way to say. Yeah, getting that in your hair. Okay, this time I will ask before I took steps forward and those caught my hair. I hate those storm bursts. They're, they're extremely painful. Uh, that one's turning brown. It's been pretty dry lately. We need a good storm where rain and stay like rain for two or three days. Interesting thought. I love how beautiful this do here in this abandoned well line in the Mill Creek Spur here. Like those little thorns are painful, but it's interesting to think about when Jesus was crucified on the cross and died for his sins. That, that crown of thorns they put on his head, those thorns are, were pretty good sized thorns. And just having a little thorn pluck your skin just, to, just enough to make you bleed just a slight way, boy does it hurt. So I'm, this small thorns, I've, I've seen some pretty long thorns. I think I got one stuck in my arm one time that was like an inch long. Yes, that hurt a lot. I think about stuff like that and see these thorns. Of course, I thought about a lot of that stuff when I seen those three crosses of the packs down there. I ain't got them try to film the training packs again. Can't promise I will, can't promise I won't. Because it seems to me like when I sit in packs and wait forever to film those trains, trains, the trains don't go by. Well, the Dumb Little Creek branch line is Sugar Creek Spur, but it's, it's the Canal River rail lines, the one I seem to have a extremely difficult time filming on. I can sit there for hours and nothing go by. Dumb Little Creek branch line runs by my house, so it's easy when the train go, trains go through there every day, two or three times a day. Well, almost every day. I don't think I go through on Sundays most of the time. You know, I'm thinking about I love how beautiful it is to here. Oh, you know, with Milk Creek got its name, I think at one time, I was told by, by one of the old, some old timers, one of the old timers has passed away since then. He grew up in the early 1900s. Well, actually, he wouldn't grow up in the early 1900s. I think he grew up in the 1930s, late 1920s, early 1930s. I think his dad worked with sawmill. There was a, I was told there was 10 sawmills up here at one time. Of course, there's also a couple of coal mines. The first, here's the interesting thought, the first actual coal mine here that I know of, well, I wouldn't say the first coal mine, but now, I don't know, I think the first coal mine opened up in 1900 here. There's actually, but the very end of the line, that's the coal camp of Lee. There's a coal camp called Lee a little ways up. I won't make it that far in this trip because I don't think I have time to walk that far a film and walk back. That's easier than jumping the car in this drive there because it's because you can take the road right down into the coal camp. But apparently the the garden ground mine didn't know that until 1940 and that's all the way at the very end of the line. Which is not, I don't think that's the reason the end of the line because I think they have some narrow gauge railroads. I've had, I need to Google that and find it's true or not, but I hear those narrow gauge railroads that went up high up in the mountains here. And they had a lot of logs they hauled out to that place they called Garden Ground where they loaded the, tra the wood on the trains. They were still doing that when I was growing up. There were still log trains coming through here in the early 90s. They have train loads of logs occasionally. Of course, then they, then they quit hauling on this line completely. They're still hauling a lot in George Pacific though. I love how beautiful this through here. It's hard to get the fall across this light. One, it's almost four o'clock, so the sun is going down. Number two, the sun don't want to stay out. Keeps popping in out of the clouds. Just just enough cloud cover to where the sun's not staying. But there is a beautiful waterfall up here. I filmed on my old YouTube. I couldn't lock myself out of. I don't think I'm gonna go to it this this trip. Now I'll come back. I'll probably come back here. In the coming weeks, I do plan on making a few more trips here. 
to do some more videos of certain places, a few spots here, when the, especially when the trees get more colorful. Or I might not do videos, I might just take a, do some photography work and take a bunch of pictures, I don't really know. Of course, I don't even know if I'll be back up here in the next couple of weeks. A lot may happen between now and then. Who knows, maybe I'll do my second section like at Appalachian Trail. I've actually done some research, turns out that there's a spot less than two hours from my house where you can go on the trail. I can go down to in the Moreau County, which is not that far from here. It's like an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes. I could get dropped off in Peterstown and hike the trail. Because i got a few friends that seem interested, I might actually do that. If I can come up with enough money to do it, I don't know if I can come up with enough money to do that sex and hike. The weather, cold weather might kick in to stay because it's the middle of October. I'm filming this video on October 13th. <laughs> I think my best. I think the most amazing video I filmed on this date, which I'll upload before this video, is that trains down at Glen Zine. I, that was kind of spot of the moment. But it's perfect timing. They catch something coming down the Donald Creek branch line. Didn't really have time to go to Thurman though. I had to get home. I want to get home, eat my lunch and stuff. Okay. Yeah. No, today I've had a lot. It's been a busy day. I've had a decent amount of stuff to take care of this morning. Maybe I'll get lucky in the Powerball ticket. I bought it'll be the next winner. Because I ever do get lucky enough to win the Powerball and become a millionaire, I want to announce it on YouTube or Facebook. And if I can help it, it won't be in the newspaper. Because I won't let everybody know and I got the next winning Powerball ticket. I'm almost at a wash out. On days like today, I'm trying my best to remember to say the date when I film something. Just for a simple fact, I don't know what day I get to upload anymore sometimes. When you get a whole bunch of videos, it's kind of, sometimes it's hard to get that. October 13th, 2021. I think I pointed out 2021. I actually filmed up here a little, a little over a year ago. I remember coming up here and filming. Of course, since I restarted my YouTube, I'm refilming a lot of... Spring up throwing the flesh. Ow! That was a thorn in the side. Quite painful too. Yeah, keep an eye on the time. I'm not gonna make it to the back to the library before they close. They close in like less than 20 minutes. Now probably, it'll probably take me about at least 20 minutes to walk out of here. Oh well. Yeah, abandoned railroad ex exploring and exploration. It's a little harder than it looks. It really is. The jungle here is not as bad as the, some of the jungles in Florida. I watched all our 82 videos, and some of the rails he walks like 20 feet from the wall crossing, you can't even tell the tracks there. You can tell where you came, but you can't. You can see, it's, you can tell where it goes because the bus is, where the track is not as bad as the other, but it's so thick, you cannot follow it. I watch those videos and it's very interesting how thick the bus gets down there. Of course down there it stays warm year round. They get they get a lot more I think they get a lot more rain than we do. Actually I don't think they get much more rain than we do here. But, but it is warm year round there, so don't get the cold snaps. Here we're getting into the cold snowy season. It won't be nuts long because it'll be cold and snowing all the time. That's the missile part about living here in West Virginia. In the winter when it's raining and snowing all the time. I do love the snow, don't get me wrong, I love the snow and I enjoy the snow. But in the winter time it can rain and snow all the time. What I hate is when it's like just above freezing. It's literally just barely warm enough to be rain. Rain. And barely but too cold to be out. When it's like 35, 36 degrees, it's more rain than snow. Or it might be really mixed. And you know, it could do that sometimes every day for a week with very little snow and it's almost impossible to get them film YouTube videos like that. But then there's, then there's the other stream when you just don't got like two or three feet of snow and you can't get out. It's makes some beautiful weather though. Some of those storms, Simpsons like that, unless you're doing a dry stream, it's kind of hard. Let's see the 1928. 
1929 well I think let's see yep 1929 it did the dice say the year one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that means November 1929 unless I miscalculate unless I miscounted one it's December but I think that's 11 1929 all this wealth is 1929 but this well is not original to the line because this line this track was complete in 1900 this track was actually complete in the year 1900 so this well is not original to the line The Dumbly Creek branch line, I think, is complete in the 1890s. I think in the late 1890s they started the Mill Creek Spur for all the sawmills up here. I know the coal mine, I did find out that the mine here at Lee opened up in 1900. And but I think by the time the mine opened up, they were already hauling train. The line was already pretty active, all the logging trains that was being, all the logs, timber was being hauled out to build the nearby coal camps. All the coal camp houses, all the stuff, the coal companies. Yep. We're over area along the creek here. We've had some major floods over the years. I'm surprised this has it right away more. I really am. I keep thinking I'm come here one day in a second and the track's gonna be in the creek. Sometime in the mid 90s, the last train ever came up this line. I just love how beautiful it is. I just know after this video I'm going to turn around and start heading back because I need to, if I didn't have to go, if I didn't need to do that walk, I can't put that job off. It only takes me an hour or two to do that walk. That one makes I have enough daylight left to do that walk. Yep. I also got to make sure I don't step on any snakes. There are vital snakes up here. I will point that out. I've come across actual vital snakes on this line before, so I do know what's out for snakes. I think my next video, well, my final video of today will probably be that that one stretch of the creek where it's dry and you can walk along the creek bed. One other video. If I can get to that rock wall down here, I'm gonna try to film this wall. That one's kind of iffy. I don't know if I can get to it or not. Actually, no, I don't think I can. It's a wall along the creek, holding the high wall, holding the roller tracks up. I don't think I can get to that. I really don't. I'm gonna leave my camera out, turn around, and do some do my little photography walk on the way back. <laughs> so many places around here I'm having to refilm. Now the places I don't mind refilming, uh, filming, this is one of them because I love walking this when I get the sense. It's the first time since April. I think the last time I walked this is late March, early April this year. It's the last time I came out this far. And it's October. Of course, I think I did do a video too, which I uploaded. Then I got locked out of that YouTube. <laughs> Hope I don't sound, sound like a broken record repeating that in how, a lot of my videos, but I guess I'm still irritated about that. Oh well, sometimes life, will throw, sometimes life will throw you something like that and you have to actually deal with it. Oh, well at least the train didn't come. I've came up here before and filmed and I get way up here and I'll hear the train coming up the active Dumb Luke, part of the Dumb Luke Creek branch line going, going onto the mine spot to go in the packs. And, I, and I'll be way up here and not film the train because there's no way I can get back. You know, like a mile or two up this line, I know I can't make it back in time. That does happen to me sometimes. I didn't know if they ever came back up. I thought they was going to come back up with a bunch of empty cars, but they never did. Oh well. Somebody hung Mickey Mouse. I literally just walked right past that. And then it dawned on me what I walked past. Come think, I've been there at least two years. When I first started, I think not long after I started my original YouTube, like 2018 that was there. It's still there. <laughs> I'm kind of curious how long it's going to stay there. Of course, it'll probably stay there until the CSX removes this line. 
I could keep going. I think they removed those power lines up here. I think they did. I can't tell. I don't see them. Somewhere in this stretch, there was power lines that crossed over the mountain that went somewhere. But Appalachian Power Upgraders, I think they removed them. Either that or I'm not in the right spot. They might be a little farther up. I think they crossed in this area. I'm not really sore, but I'm going to turn around here in a minute. Actually, maybe not. I might have actually made it all the way to the coal camp and didn't realize it. Let me see. Well, if I did, I'll just do a third video. Now, actually, I'm in walk the road back. If I'm as close as I think I am, I might as well just get out and walk the road back. Okay, I'm not as close. I still got a ways to go. I thought I was, I seen the sunlight hitting that little clearing and I thought I was there. That's where the power, that's the power lines straight ahead. That little clearing is where the power lines used to call all those high tension lines, but I think Appalachian and Power removed them. They got that new set up, Price Hill. Going halfway up Price Hill. I think right at the, literally right just before the county line, just before you cross into Raleigh County. So I think it's right here where they used to cross. That, right that little bit of a clearing's there. I think. Honestly, I'm not having since saw the exact spot here. I do know I probably got like another 20, 30 minutes at least of walking before I get to the coal camp itself. Maybe. I really don't know. Yeah, that's where the power lines crossed. They are gone because you can see the clearing right through there where they crossed. One of the best times of year to follow, the, follow these abandoned rail lines. October. Of course, my favorite time is in the winter time. It's like late winter, early spring, or late fall, early winter. This before winter kicks in, it's too cold and snowy and ready to hike miles and miles to the woods, or like the mid March when everything's warming up. Those are some of the best times because you can find, because there's abandoned coal mine towns, abandoned structures, have anything to do with the mines or the railroads. It's easier to spot. Okay, maybe the lines are still there. Actually, they are still there. I thought they removed them because I can't see them through the trees. But I stand corrected. This, this stretch of lines is still there. I can see the power tower. I have lots of powers that removed them. I thought that was part of the same set that went through Mount Hope in 1918 substation. But maybe there's something completely different here. I don't know. And I still got a ways to go from that. It's probably still another half a mile to a mile of walking at least. And then you come out in somebody's backyard here. So... I'm going to go ahead and turn around and end my video here. But if you watch this to the end, I'll say thank you. Actually, no, maybe I'll go a little bit farther. Not much farther, though, because there is a spot there where I can get some nice photos. I think just... I'll go ahead and end the video. No, wait a minute. Never mind. I'm confused a little bit because there's some, that might be the spot I'm thinking about where I can get the good photos. Okay. This is the photo spot, but I don't think I can get there because the bus is thicker than it was last time I was here, I think, some, or something. I don't know, I'm a little confused. I remember a spot here where I done some nice photography work a few years back. But I'm not sure the exact location of that spot. All I know is I need to hit, get back in town. Oh well. If you watch to the end, I'll say thank you for watching the whole video. I'm going to wrap up and turn and head back home. It's a beautiful walk here. I hope to make it back before winter kicks in.